que Dios tiene un plan más grande y más hermoso para nosotros. Sí, pronto el cielo nos recompensará al doble por nuestro esfuerzo y nuestra fe. Y que su buen día, ese gran día con el que tanto hemos soñado, llegará. Hola, ¿qué tal, crack? La selección mexicana femenil sub-17 comenzó su camino rumbo al Mundial de India 2022 con el pie derecho, luego de golear 10 a 0 a Nicaragua en el inicio de la fase de grupos y con ello se instala como líder del Grupo C. México compite en el premundial de la CONCACAF junto con Panamá, Trinidad y Tobago y Nicaragua. El torneo se realiza en República Dominicana y consta de cuatro grupos con cuatro selecciones cada uno, de los cuales las tres mejores selecciones de cada pelotón avanzan a los octavos de final. De esta manera, el tri femenil tiene prácticamente asegurado uno de esos boletos, sin embargo, apunta para calificar con paso perfecto y ser líder. Con CACAF reparte tres boletos al Mundial, de modo que el tri debe ser al menos semifinalista y ganar el partido por el tercer sitio para calificar a la Copa del Mundo, aunque el objetivo es llegar a la final. México comenzó a darle forma a la goleada desde los 10 minutos, con el primero de los tres goles que marcó Valerie Vargas, jugadora del Beach FC. Vargas repitió en el primer tiempo con un par de goles más, al minuto 27 y 30. Daniela Mesa y Maribel Flores se despacharon con un doblete cada una. Mesa, jugadora del Atlas, marcó a los minutos 16 y 70, mientras que Maribel, del Slammers FC firmó al 41 minutos y 57 minutos. Tatiana Flores, jugadora del Chelsea y hermana de Marcelo Flores, se unió a la lista de goleadoras con el sexto gol del partido a los 53 minutos, mientras que Montserrat Saldívar, del América, hizo el noveno, y Laila Cirda cerró la cuanta con el décimo gol a los 90 minutos. El próximo rival de México será el lunes 25 de abril, frente a la selección de Panamá, a las 18 horas, tiempo del centro de México. Golden opportunity as Tatiana Flores put a teasing ball into the back post. Everyone followed the ball. No one followed Alice Soto in the middle of the box. And she... The Group E matches today. Defensive half of the field for Nicaragua. Take another look at that challenge from Flores. Excellent win back now. Tatiana Flores finds Mirabel Flores. Takes the ball into the box from Pineda. It's a good one. It took a weird deflection off the post, popped up in the air, ball into the box. It looked like it was going for an Olympico, the near post. See the danger of There's the speed of Mirabel Flores into the box for Tatiana Flores. It falls nicely and finally turned in by Alling from Mirabender, putting a teasing ball into the box. Tatiana Flores could not finish it off in the back of the net. Once it got into this position right here, just not enough. He was getting space and beautifully worked by Michelle Fong. Long shifting ball over. Hey, coming up. Players into the box. Tatiana. Garcia or Florida by Zeladon. You can just see the quality of Tatiana Flores in and around the area, making those runs forward for the Mexican national team as well. Here's Tatiana Flores winning the ball back beautifully, and it's going to just barely be knocked out. Take another look, the individual effort from Flores. A bit of a battle in the box. That's a low cross into the box. It almost finds again in the own goal. And Mexico have opened up a 2-0 lead from Nicaragua. It almost was an own goal. Was cleared back off the line. Drift wide, now Tatiana Flores. Looking for, a tough, looking for runners going forward. She'll play off the shoulder on the run for Tatiana. Tatiana with a great little cutback. Now into the box she goes. In wing. Ball into the box again. Here's an opportunity. Just Pumas. Nicaragua completely fell asleep on the restart. And Tatiana Flores making them pay. Teasing ball into the box. She just the ball cleanly. And if you're Nicaragua, you got a challenge on Flores to stop the trajectory towards goal. Another low cross into the box taken by Tatiana Flores. Time. Mexico back into the box. Cutting ball through, and the referee ends up chased 
and she will lose the ball in possession. An opportunity for Mexico. It's still loose in the 18 and finish home as they've taken a 3-0 lead. An awkward ball that just kept on going and Vargas, a little cutting ball at the moment from Alice Soto. A little opening space here for Mexico and taking the shot for Valerie Vargas. And it is, and ended up just finishing with her left foot. A beautiful pass to open up space in the first place, but with a lurking Tatiana Florida with the jump into the air. She's getting stretched up by her teammate. It's a bit of an awkward jump. For Tatiana Flores, numbers going forward again for Mexico. Flores, maybe a bit ill-advised. She saw the goalkeeper out of position for a moment. Mirabel Flores into the back post, looking for Tatiana. And Garcia is able to claim it. <laughs> back by Soto. Trying to find Tatiana Flores. Flores will get there in time. The goal is open. If she can get a shot away, she can't. I can play. It's crossed in. An opportunity is now on the score sheet. Ana Flores getting the keeper out of position. Soto blasting past two defenders, pulling it in. Defenders two pin back, but you wouldn't believe that by watching this goal. Back, great move by Fong into the box. It comes down. Tatiana Flores now. For as dangerous as Tatiana Flores has been, and it's now going the other way. Tatiana. The way Mirabel Flores. Trying to play Tatiana Flores. Mexican side up 5 nothing Underway and we are. It's 45 minutes more of soccer set to come. Weaving through defenders. Plays it off for Tatiana Flores. She's got some speed to burn. Centers it off. It's saved. Tatiana Flores finishes it go. And Tatiana has her goal that she has been about these first 53 minutes. And the Chelsea FC product finally has, and in the process, Garcia has gone down. Take another look. Tatiana Garcia started the play, just getting past one defender, centering it off for Soto, who had it blocked. Garcia, or excuse me, Tatiana uh, Flores able to finish it off. So that coming in the 53rd. Awkward ball here, Tatiana Flores. Tatiana Flores, Mirabel Flores. Mirabel Flores. Play from Saldivar. Gets past one, past two, past three. And then shoots individual effort from Mirabel Flores. The pride of the LAFC slammers. And home for her second of the night. One back here. The ball into the box, popped up in the air, headed down. Last now, Ramon. There's a number of runners going forward here for Mexico. An opportunity in the box now. Turning around is Tatiana Flores. Awkward. We'll take another look at how that transpired. There will be the ball into the box. It's a decent one, headed in. And I believe it's Fox. It was very, she's got a brace now. Mirabel Flores has a brace. Bit of a clattering challenge between Mirabel, or excuse me, that's Tatiana Flores. <laughs> Who's up and at it now? Intercepted. Tatiana Flores taken out. Tatiana Flores just pushed from back. Free kick coming from Mexico again. Too bad. No challenge here from Mexico again. Putting it into the box. Ten minutes to go. Mexico still trying to attack, trying to get more goals. One back by Ramirez. Tatiana Flores plays it wide. Into the box now. Flores is there. Flores cannot finish. One goal in this game. Though Mexico has been incredibly solid and it's really not allowed anything. Here's Tatiana. Flores plays it back. One pass two. Couldn't get past the third. Still with possession here is Mexico. 
into the middle. Opportunity now for Flores as she plays it along. Here's Saldivar into the box. Caught Garcia leaning and finishes near post. Cherry on top. It's not great play through as Tatiana Flores found the streaking winger. Coming back now. Great one, Sirda. Sirda still with it. Can she make it 10 in this game? But what an individual effort getting by one, by two, by three, by four. Onto the left foot, curling at the U17 championship. And enough to keep out that firepower from the Mexican national team.